so we're firing up the pellet grill and the way I have it on the patio um, you hear that right so underneath, underneath the hopper it's like I don't know how to show it so there's the hopper but underneath it that little plate has a lot of vibration to it I have to figure something out how to secure that a little tighter. But we got action. We got action. My bad boy smoking. It's the chip. Uh oh, uh oh. Lord Jesus, it's a fire. Super stoked. So. We're doing the initial burn. Um, really excited. Just picked it up this afternoon. Uh, here in Dallas, they actually have a, a, a Gorilla Grills where showroom. So I went to the showroom, talked to the guy, George, hooked it up. So I got me, since I don't, I'm not gonna do a, a lot of big like meals. Um, I just got me the chimp, which is big enough for at least a few uh, few racks of ribs, and not and um, or some uh, a brisket or a pork shoulder, pork butt, something like that. So anyway, that bad boy's going really good. So there you have it. Uh, I'll be back at you here in a little bit once it's done. Hope I don't break it. <laughs> Later. All right, so we did the initial uh, little fire. Got some pellets in there. You saw the fire going. I put all the internals back on. And you see the smoke rolling in. Oh yeah, baby. It's going down. Just start to get up the temp, you know. I uh, after I do the burn and all that good stuff, I'm gonna jump on Amazon later on tonight and um, get me the lava lock gasket so that way it doesn't um, the smoke doesn't billow out at all or at least very little. So, good looking little uh, little grill, I swear. <clears throat> there's a, 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 a link that I'll put in the video of the instructional guide from, from Gorilla Grills of themselves. And no joke, this thing takes 15 minutes to put together. Um, legit. I'm excited. I think it'll be good. Like I said, it's big enough for me to put a brisket on there. It's big enough for me to put a few racks of ribs. And got some fire going, baby. So, yeah, all I got to do is figure out, like I said, underneath the. Let's see how it stops. So, I got to figure, figure something out for that. There's some vents down there, so I don't want to mask it off to some extent. Fuck it all up. It says once it starts coming up to temp, we give it another minute and then we'll close it. And then we'll let the thing burn for 45 minutes. I'm excited. Oh, that bad boy's fucking. I might get, there's some other, uh, my father-in-law's got them on, on his smoker. He's got a stick burner though, or an offset smoker. Um, he's got these like clamps that actually do a really nice job of, of sealing the door, uh, almost to the place where like one, his grill is super slicked up season. Um, he's done a couple of long cooks on there with briskets and, and, uh, and ribs and whatnot. And I've done a couple while I was over there, but, 
um, it's so seasoned, you know, the metal that, um, oh, when you clamp the door down, when you clamp the doors down and unclamp them to, to, to lift it open, sometimes it's a little sticky to, to, to get open. So anyway, um, like I said, that to me, that's just, that's a seasoned grill. So, uh, anywho, super excited. It's up to 200 right now. It's going to scream up to four. Four fifty. Take it up to four fifty, and like I said, run that bad boy till uh, for forty-five minutes. And um, at that point, it'll be it'll be seasoned. I clean the. Uh, I'm just gonna do the one grill rack. I don't think there's any sense in cleaning the top rack because I'm not gonna put anything on there. And once you put something big on there, uh, brisket or pork belly or pork butt, I should say. Um, it's just it takes up too much room and it gets in the way. It gets in the way. Anyway, super stoked. More to come. Uh, hopefully, have some uh, some uh, do some steaks. Oh, some steaks. Speaking of, my brother's coming down to visit. I'll show him a real steak. You know what I mean? Good talk.